How's it going gamers, it's Chongo here and today I've got a gameplay commentary for you guys. The gameplay is of Titanfall on the PC and today's commentary topic is about the recent news that both Epic Games and Crytek are going to be making their engines available for people for a subscription fee. So let's get into it. So first off, if you don't know what an engine is, it's basically something that's used in game development to make the game itself. I mean, you could basically see it as like a source engine so stuff like Counter-Strike and even Titanfall is made off the same basic engine and it just really saves a lot of time for developers instead of them having to create everything themselves they've got like a platform that they can use to make their games off of which is really awesome and basically originally it came out Epic Games came out and said that they're going to be releasing the Unreal Engine 4 which is available now for $19 a month and a 5% revenue of the game that is made on there so if you make a game and you use it for six months you make some indie game or whatever and you release it Epic Games gets 5% of your revenue which isn't really a lot when you think about it it's actually quite generous the amount that they give you all the software and you pay $19 a month for it and then they only want 5% once you sell your game. But the best part about Epic Games' deal with this is that if you pay your $19 straight up, you can instantly cancel it after that point and after paying the $19 and you just keep your last updated engine that you had. The only thing is you're not going to keep getting updates and that's it. You can keep making your games off it and you can release your game and just pay the 5% revenue made by selling the game. That's it, which I think is really awesome because if you just want to have a go and you don't really consider yourself you know, a game developer or you just want to just have a look around, you can pay $20 and then that's all fine. And then shortly after this announcement, Crytek came out and announced that they're going to be doing the same thing with the CryEngine for $10 a month and they don't take any royalties when you sell your game, which is amazing because, you know, you could make a game that's really amazing and makes millions of dollars and they don't want any of it. But as far as I'm aware, unlike with the Unreal Engine 4, you're unable to just cancel your subscription and keep using the software. You need to keep paying that $10 a month, but that's not really a great deal when someone is, you know, invested in making a game. But either way, whichever one you wish to use if you are a game developer I think this is a really awesome idea and it's a very interesting thing to see to check out and see how the industry is changing from instead of just having these big budget AAA games they're trying to move more into indie games and I think both Epic Games and Crytek realize that you know you're going to make a lot more money if you offer something like this where people can pay a monthly fee to have access to these tools to make a game and even if they don't end up making a game they're still generating a small amount of profit of it as opposed to just having these big AAA budget games because your engine is massive massive costs for them because obviously you can't if you're just a startup or you're one person who's got an idea for a game and you just want to go and make it you can't afford all the costs of using those engines so that's why they've done this and I think it's a really smart move by them and it's probably going to result in the near future of a lot more Unreal Engine games coming out and a lot more CryEngine games coming out. Now the main reason I made this video is I was surprised that I didn't see enough information on this on YouTube. It doesn't seem like many people really knew about it. I mean, I think I found it on, out on a Reddit thread and that was it. I didn't find it anywhere else. I didn't see it on YouTube or any of the news channels or anything like that. So if you are interested in game development, even if it's just slightly, I definitely recommend either checking out the Crytek engine or just going for the Unreal Engine 4 and just seeing what the options are there to make games. You may find yourself you know, really into it and you may make a really awesome game. Now I want to know what you guys think about this, whether you think it's a good move by Epic Games and Crytek to allow their tools out at pretty much nothing or at a really small fee, or whether you think it should just be kept for AAA developers, although I don't really think there's going to be many people thinking that because it's always good to have tools like this in the hands of the new people or the up-and-comers or startups or anything like that. So if you've got any comments about that, put it down below, and if you want to join the game hood, just subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.